Beam down smoke. Welcome everybody to a very interesting video about a CSGO account that cropped up back in 2017 and has just recently got a true explanation for how it has come into existence. Before we explain this very interesting and weird story of this CSGO account, I do want to go ahead and shout out a few people that have made this video possible just because of the information gathering. This first is going to be Giotto Moon, who actually DM'd me on Discord and let me know about all this information going down on Twitter. The second is going to be X Mercy, who actually was the one who came up with this account in the first place on CSGO Exchange and found it originally. And then next is OwnPixel, who collated a lot of the information into one spot and got in contact with the guy to explain this account further. So without further ado guys, let's get started. Our story begins in late 2017 when a profile called Darkness XK came out of nowhere, absolutely nowhere, and started to buy literally all high tier items for any price in just a few weeks. He spent over 500,000 USD and disappeared. As you can see by the pictures of his inventory here, he has many, many dragon lores, medusas, extremely low float dragon lores, he has every high tier item that anybody could ever imagine of owning, and more. As this story developed, people came out with some pretty interesting ideas as to what actually happened to this profile, some really interesting and intriguing ones, and of course some that were a little bit weirder of course, but for the most part it was a lot of fun theorizing for a little while. For quite a while though, there was a lot of theories running around and not too much solid information, and people were starting to give up hope, but after a while, something interesting happened. A Twitter user by the name of Rafael Gomez actually posted a tweet that showed that he had a Twitch account, DarknessXK had a Twitch account that was in Brazilian and we can confirm it from the Twitch account that he was in fact Brazilian. Also during the making of this video, Darkness actually went live with OwnPixel on stream to actually talk about some of this information. From the stream we actually found out that Darkness was 25 years old. But before we get into that, I did want to look a little bit more into the detective work that actually went into finding who this guy was so that we can make this video a little bit more fun and interesting. So after digging through the Twitch account a little bit more, they found out actually that there was a knife in one of his Twitch clips that matched one of the knives on CSGO Exchange on that account, so we were for sure that his Twitch account, DarknessXK, was in fact the actual guy in the Steam inventory. Through a bit more digging, archaeological digging I must say, they actually found his Twitter account which followed the same ads as he was on the other platforms. However, despite having his Twitter account and being able to add him on the current thread, it was still a little bit unclear whether he would actually respond or whether he actually wanted to respond. Nobody knew if he was still disappeared or if he still was using Twitter. So for that reason, people were a little bit skeptical. However, after some waiting and some hoping, he actually ended up responding to the tweet and he said oh, he's laughing really, really hard. I guess he found this kind of funny. Because he was actually able to respond to the tweet and he was not, in fact, just randomly disappeared into the Bermuda Triangle of Twitter, they were actually able to contact him and this is what we found out. After some waiting, they got into contact with him and got a little bit of an explanation for what he was actually doing, how he got into all of this money and why he spent it on CSGO. So, this is all concatenated into one text document, which I will now read to you all. And once again, thanks again to Giotto Moon for being able to collate all this information into the text document. It reads, well, let's start from the beginning of how I managed to get this exploit to do these things. I'm not a very targeted guy on the internet in cracking forums for using several alternative accounts to avoid traces and people asking me favors, so let's get to the point personally. I did get all this money from Bitcoin and programming, but I got help from some co-workers and we researched a lot about how it worked. Bitcoin's depth of service and its possible glitches, thanks to a glitch that still exists but has already been partially fixed by many companies, thanks to several security and analysts and our own document, which I will not go into detail here, we finally managed to earn a good amount of money, so much that on the normal internet, how much in our little friend with onion icon which I'm not really sure what that means, but we finally had a hard time finding faults to exploit amicably without stealing or taking money from anybody. But finally, I remember as it were today, we were researching mathematical possibilities as to how to make Bitcoin integrity fail, some way to capture information that shouldn't be there, invalidate transactions and things like that, several possible failures. One night I remember until today was 2017 of April 7th, and we were discussing these same issues looking for possibilities to make a failure, and we were able to make some duplicate transactions, and used still today. 
We make our money back double in some systems, so our great idea was to sell the solution to all sites that use Bitcoin Core selling, a private solution to prevent these transactions from giving more money because Core returns the full amount to the customer. From there, we were starting to sell the solution to several companies that needed to resolve this glitch quickly in about a few months. We stopped because we already had released the code to the staff and we started to split the money between us. We were four people, but I won't give their names here for privacy. It was good money and I assembled the inventory. Some of them went out of Brazil and bought home and cars. So some of the theories were correct. He was actually very invested into Bitcoin, but it wasn't necessarily Bitcoin itself and rather a security issue concerning Bitcoin that he and his team had actually found. From finding this actual security issue, they were able to sell that information to companies that used Bitcoin for transactions and that's how they made all of their money. He then of course bought the inventory which is valued at easily over $500,000, probably close to even a million dollars at this current moment. So he still has the inventory, all the items still exist in CSGO on the inventory and his Steam profile is still there, not trade banned or anything of that sort. And as promised earlier in the video, I do have a clip from his Twitch stream that kind of goes a little bit more into depth from him actually explaining in person what he was doing and how he actually makes money. So, here it is. Yeah, like, back in the days, you will send a exploit worth like 204 KUSD. So, you invest the money, make even more. Nah, nothing fishy. Just analysis, security analysis, pen testing, man, and shit, white hat. Consulting, consulting. Yes, consulting. So as we can all see, he's a very legitimate dude, just hikes to help companies out and to give them some information about potential bugs or security issues, which can help them secure a lot of your information. So definitely nothing fishy here. He's just a very good guy and ended up getting pretty lucky with some information, making a lot of money off of it, and of course, buying this insane CSGO inventory. So I guess we consider this mystery solved. Of course, don't send any weird information towards this guy. He's just trying to live his life and do his thing. If you want to get into contact with them, you're going to have to just do that yourself and uh, try not to do it because he probably just wants to lay low. So guys, that's going to close out this video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I try to make this video a little bit more entertaining, kind of mysterious for the viewer. Hopefully that came across pretty well. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more information and investment knowledge about CSGO and some other videos like this one. And make sure you go ahead and like the video to show your support and join our Discord server if you want some more extended information on investing and want to join our great community. I also have a Twitter account, at Nalo Video, go check that one out, and also go check out at SoldatGFX on Twitter if you want anything related to CSGO artwork or thumbnails. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.